Hey guys, Dimitri Pascalota here for The Score Esports. Unfortunately, Colin triggered a Claymore trying to rush the objective and isn't around to do this week's top 10. Rest assured though, he's in recovery and will be back in fighting form in time for next week's list. Now, let's talk about Ash. Whether you love her or hate her, Ash is one of Rainbow Six Siege's most iconic operators. And even though people are still crying over one of her ACOGs being taken away, her fragging power and highlight reel potential have hardly cooled off. He tries to turn the corner. Nyx though on a trade at the server door. Ooh. goes for two. This is G36 cutting through. Oh. And there's another one for Nyx. So we thought this would be a great time to show you what we think are the top 10 nuttiest Ash plays in Rainbow Six Siege. Coming in at number 10 is none other than G2 Esports' Kanto Ricchetti during a Season 9 Pro League match against Team Empire. Empire looked to be in a great position to take the round, with the Finn left against three defenders and the Diffuser left to be collected across the map. But then, Kanto Ricchetti happened. Shepard cuts down Fabian, leaving just Kanto Ricchetti. Say goodbye to Scyther. The Finn's gonna continue to go on as Ash, but he's got Joystick and Shepard to find. Kanto does not hold the Diffuser. He's gonna have to go fetch it. It's over by the double panels inside of CEO. This is ripe for opportunity. But if the smoke is smart, he'll just play from below. Look at how far away they are. Nobody is really in position right now to be able to take Kanto down. He's gonna be exposed for another four, three, two, one seconds, and then, well, he's got some marks. Oh, he takes out Joystick. And all the pings right now onto Shepard, low on HP. Shepard might be blind. Oh, what a great shot for Kanto! The monstrous clutch on Banana! He'll get Shepard, say bye-bye, and G2 will move on to match point, all because a wonderful one-on-three from Kanto goes in their favor. I cannot believe it. Coming in at number nine is this Ash play from Supremacy's Bibu at the 2018 Six Invitational. Up against Yeah Gaming, the Frenchman quickly found himself cornered and outnumbered 4-1. to one. But with just about 20 seconds left on the clock, Bibu showed us that he could do the impossible with time to spare. They're all the falling down, you and I with one more, leaving one alive. Bibu, fighting for his life on the ash here, pulls out the fight session, takes it! Bibu, are you kidding me? Four kills in a row, and Yeah, completely falling down. Supremacy are still alive. Wow, that was a heck of a fight session. Our number 8 play comes courtesy of Fnatic's Rizraz from a match in the 2019 Six Invitational against FaZe Clan. The Aussies were ahead by 4 rounds on the Brazilians' map pick, and if that wasn't tilting enough, the Ash single-handedly extended that lead without taking a single point of damage. File this one under just Ash things. Shot downstairs, there we go, looks for the opportunity, and succeeds upon it. Cameraman goes down as Rizraz finally gets a kill. Oh my goodness, what a throw! As I believe, who was that up on top? Was that Magnet? Um, I'm not sure to be honest with you, but we are gonna see Mav get himself into an engagement. He's gotta be careful with the holes blown in through the four, as Rizras has now found a third kill in this round. Really going on a tear at this point. Only Moringa and Yuna left, and he's got his ace if he wants to try and go for it. You can see the drone moving in now, before they actually push the site, and it works! There's the fourth from Rizras. let's see! Do we get the ace? And I think we do! Rizraz shutting it all down, beautiful stuff from him. Making his second appearance on this list is G2 Esports' Kanto Ricchetti, this time with a disgusting Ash play from the Pro League Season 8 semi-finals. Sure, G2's finished duo found themselves on the wrong side of a 2v4 against Fnatic, but leave it to Kanto to turn things around, landing a beautiful triple kill before winning the round. They'll find the kill on Goga. 4v2 advantage, of course, here for Fnatic, but the headshot's been found. Lusty will get dropped. Flashbang thrown in, though, from the top. The rift up here into the bathroom. Kenta Ricchetti low on health, but aces. Is he finally going to get dropped? Does he find the head in the back of the Maestro? Damage done! Kenta Ricchetti, he threats the needle! Neophyte lasts alive. Is this how Fnatic go down? A thundering roar! This is absolutely insane. Kanto Ricchetti showing why he's the carry rocket, but they're not done just yet. The number six play on our list sees LeStream Esports' Uno Meister put on a show at the 2019 Six Invitational Qualifiers. Taking on Team Empire, Uno was left in a post-plant situation with three enemies left on the retake. 
but with excellent use of cover, the Ash was able to isolate the fights against the defenders and extend her team's lead. But Shockwave with a great kill onto Hicks. We'll try and get another one, get instantly traded out by Uno. It's all down to him in a 1v2 post plant. He has the plant down and he has the kills. He gets another one to Shepard and Uno with a 3k to finish it off. Oh my god! The stream take round number four, but the skin of that teeth and just off the back of Uno. Oh my god. Coming in at the number 5 spot is this show-stopping Ash performance from Space Station Gaming's Rampy during Season 9 of Pro League. In this insane match against Team Reciprocity, the Ash player caught absolute fire. You know, it was it is what they did last time. Rampy adding more kills. Lucky number 13. There you go. Or so. Oh, a nice shot from Rampy again. 14 kills in total. I'll take down Retro, the castle, and the Jaeger, and another one! Rampy with a 3k of the round! Skies instantly flicked to the head. This Rampy upstairs looking for another kill. He's gonna find him. There you go. 4k for Rampy. Beautiful bit of play here. And with 22 kills by the end of the map, we just couldn't choose one single play. So here's this 1v3 clutch from the following round that put his team on match point. Rampy moving into blue. Attackers recovered the bomb. He's in there, but he'll lose his teammate. Mark will find the kill on the Jaeger, and a quick rush from Rampy. I'll take one. Still two alive. Retro and Mark the Shark. 15 seconds left on the clock as he'll find one on the Jaeger. The last one alive is still upstairs. Retro. As fire will be sprayed in from Retro. He's still in Sunrise Bar. He'll peek in as the castle will lose the fight, and Rampy again! He'll clutch it every single time. What an absolute monster. Coming in at the number 4 spot on our list is Liquid's Nesk from the Pro League Season 7 quarterfinals. In true Ash main fashion, Nesk found two quick kills against Fnatic less than a minute into the round. And about a minute later, he closed it out with this filthy ace. A shot from the shot drone will push the Jaeger out and now Sexy Kate going for a shot. Nesk manages to take out Magnet and it's another, whoa, Nesk and Sexy Cake being able to push in together. And you've at least salvaged the losses that you have. You've used two very low utility operators. Nesk is going to get his third kill on the Lusty. And you can see the shield will attack Aces. He goes to sheath his Nitro Cell. And Nesk is going to come down a fourth for Nesk. I feel like we just saw a video where Nesk was able to kill them all. And an ace for Nesk. What a round for the Ash player to keep his team in it. All five. Oh my, my. And. Not overtime quite yet, still match point for Fnatic, but Liquid able to counter punch after Fnatic was able to open up such a lead on The number three spot on our list goes to just one of the many highlight worthy plays from Pengu at the Pro League Year 2 Season 2 semifinals. The Dane was looking to rally back from a poor game one performance against Team Font, and, well, he did just that. Yeah. There, oh, oh, here we go. Pengu sprays in, finally gets the kill. Pengu's just gonna be waiting around. They don't have to peek this too much. They're just gonna wait until it gets in the crossfire, and Pengu gets one. Pengu gets two! No, no! Three, three down! And Pengu goes. This is the Pengu we know. That's, that's the Pengu on Ash that justifies that pick. So nicely done by Pengu, showing why he's playing it that way. Very Taking the runner-up spot on our list is this lethal Ash sequence courtesy of Team Empire's Joystick during the Challenger League Season 8 EU Final. Now this Russian Ash main is currently one of the best in the world, and this should show you exactly why. Joystick, we mentioned it before, we mentioned yeah. it again, that highlight fragging player. Yeah, so if there's one player to take a look at on Team Empire, it's Joystick. And allowing Uno to retake tower is a mistake, but Joystick will correct that. Even for a highlight frag player such as Uno, and Joystick will get yet another one. That's the three kills in this first round. Scyther will get one more as he opens up the site, and it's all on to Shate, of course, the world champion in the back, watching the Armory Corridor. And Fuser will go down from the AQ. Shepard, good peek from shot there by Joystick wow. again. Now you might be thinking, four kills in the opening round is pretty impressive, but Joystick manages to one-up himself two rounds later. Joystick though has the drop already open, it will cut off the rotation. All these can be opened, though the Havana will be the one to open things up. Flash will get thrown in, the mute, he's oh. lost. Oh, but no, what? Joystick the reversal. Shate, what are you doing? Oh no. What a mistake from the world champion himself.
Gomfi will refrag onto Garzeka, but he gets downed by Joystick and a pistol kill for Joystick! Holy, what is going on? It's all up to Boonsy now. He's evened it out somewhat in two one on two, but Joystick once more shutting down Boonsy and Team Empire take the round. That was a Joystick case. Taking the top spot on our list is yet another solo Ash Clutch from Kanto Ricchetti. If there's anything that this play teaches us, it's that a 1v3 means absolutely nothing when you're up against a player like Kanto. Goga and Jonas vanquished, leaving Kanto Ricchetti to deal with the three remaining members of FaZe. And very quickly, he will reduce it to two with Moringa and Yuna, but he's gonna give himself easy access in towards service. And this is a very winnable position with that R4C in the hands of the Finn. I'll need to grab the diffuser. It's quite a ways away. Moringa prone with the shotgun blast. Kanto around the corner, the oh! double! What a clutch, Kanto! The madman silencing the crowd, and G2 up four to two. Absolutely insane aim there from Kanto Ricchetti. The transfer as clean as it gets. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but that list was hard to watch. Ash mains are absolutely intolerable. But if you want to see your operator get the top 10 treatment, head to the comments and let us know, whether it be Glaz, Castle, even the Lord himself. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next week. Thanks for watching. If you want more great content just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button.